Good morning, guys. Well, as promised, I've got a couple of firsts on the channel today. I'm going to be trying out the Woodmiser Turbo 747 blades, and I'm going to be trying them out on this giant American chestnut tree. Actually, it's a log. I had somebody ask how I scored an American chestnut log, and it I told him it was a funny story that I would share when I milled it up and well here it goes. This tree was taken down on a job site about two years ago. Um, it was a, a clearing job that we were doing for a subdivision we were going to build. I made a couple videos of taking down the trees and ripping out the stumps and those two videos for whatever reason went crazy and have over 7 million views between the two. When this tree was cut down they thought it was a black walnut. The heartwood was green and it started turning brown as it oxidized and so it was set aside a couple days later i got a call from my boss asking where the walnut log was if i had taken it home to mill and i hadn't but the log went missing well after weeks of looking for the log we couldn't find it and uh basically figured it had been loaded up and hauled out with uh, the rest of the pulp logs a couple months ago one of the other foremen from the job text me a picture of it and said hey do you want this i was going to cut it up for firewood but it might be a good saw log and i thought holy smokes that's the log that we were looking for and it was this big fiasco and so i said heck yeah i'll take it i talked to my boss let him know what was going on he didn't want the log anymore so uh my co-worker brought it over and it's been sitting here for a couple months but it's time to get it up on the mill Now, the butt end is 36 inches, it's 12 feet long. My plan is to cut this thing off square and then cut it at just over eight feet. I'm gonna slab it down until it's too wide to fit through the sawmill. Then I'm gonna cut an end off and then I'm gonna make a couple more slabs so that I can do a uh, either a book match table or uh, maybe like an epoxy river table. So. First order of business, square this up, cut it at eight feet, make sure the wood's solid in the middle and go from there. Well, this seems to be the theme here lately. The hollow center. I think there's still some good wood on the outside though. It's worth uh, cutting her down to eight feet and getting it on the mill and seeing what we get. Well, the issue with this log seems to run all the way through the pith. Um, it's not quite that bad on the other end, but uh, there's only one way to figure out if it's going to become fancy firewood or not, and that is to put a new blade on the mill and get it on there and make some cuts. So that's what we're going to do.
Well, I think most of the good lumber in this log is in this upper part. So I'm going to try and center the pith a little bit and just start slabbing and see what happens. Well, this log ended up having so much arch in that eight feet that I wasn't able to make any slabs that I could use as a table. So I've, I've squared it up. I've got a little bit of live edge left. I may have to uh, think about a different project, um, but I'm gonna pull these first three slabs off and uh, see what we've got. Look at that. Holy smokes. Well, I got pretty lucky on these first three. starting to get into the rock here but man there's still a lot of good lumber down on that end I say we keep slabbing it out I gotta put some water on this one though
Well guys, I think this is a win. I was really worried when I saw that rot in the center of the log and it looks like it's mostly confined to the end. There's a couple boards there that, that have a little bit, but I've still got plenty of lumber to build my table, plenty left for other projects or to sell. I'm pretty happy with how the 747 blades ran. You do see some chatter in the boards. I'm running a seven degree blade, which is a little aggressive for hardwood, but um, I don't think that chatter is anything, uh, anything adverse to deal with when it comes to finishing the wood. So all in all, I'm happy with it. And I think the log came out pretty good.